fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, yes, we're going to talk about the warnings of crochet braids, but it's a little different. It's a little different. Now, if you know, if you've been following me recently, I made a video a couple of weeks ago as you're watching this about breakage in crochet hair. Now, I recently started to experience some breakage around the front of my hair. I'd say within the last three months after doing crochet braids consistently, and I mean wholeheartedly consistently as my only protective style for the last five years. But while this was all going on, I was starting to research about crochet braids and if anybody else had made a video experiencing this issue. You guys know how thorough I am in my videos. I try to be thorough in trying to find solutions for what's going on. I searched and I found this video on YouTube again a couple months ago called The Warning About Crochet Braids and I started watching it and I was like oh this is really good. It wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. I thought we were going to just like hop into like breakage and all that so I stopped and I said I want to do a reaction to this video on my channel and either debunk or agree with some of the points that these ladies are talking about. Now the channel name is Sandy Lavogue so I'm going to link the original video down below but of course I'll be watching it in real time with you guys and reacting because I only watched about two minutes this video 17 minutes I don't know what they get into after the point where I stopped and said hold on wait let me do a reaction to it. I don't know what else we're going to get into, but I think it was just kind of a listicle. They were listing a couple of warnings about it, and I'm just going to watch it with you guys and say I concur or mm, if you do this or that differently. Now, you guys gave me some amazing tips when I said, hey, look, it's been causing some breakage, and my solution to that was I need to take some breaks. I've been five years deep on trying crochet braids. I actually do have hair. This is, um, I have my hair out, but I have some clip-ins too, you know. And my hair ain't quite got the drop, that the droppity drop of this, you know, 18-inch hair. But I do have my personal hair um, out in the front. So this little, my little little thing in the back of the back is mine. So we're going to react to this video. Again, it's going to be playing on the screen as we're watching it together. I've seen the first two minutes of this video. So I'll still have reactions to that portion, but everything after like the two minutes so 15 minutes of the video I haven't even seen but let's get into it it's five years old so it's from five years ago I think when I checked the the timestamp it's actually from before I even started my channel I must not have you know looked into the warnings of crochet braids before jumping in but let's get into it so it starts the honest truth about crochet braids do you really know what you're getting yourself into hey guys so right now we're both rocking crochet braids so it's a great protective style um, the hair is pretty cheap, um, cost effective. You know, you can take it. The person whose channel it is, Sandy Montrell is her name, but her channel name is Sandy LaVogue. She and Faith, she brought in a guest with her for this. Faith are going to be talking about crochet braids. Both have very lovely crochet braids in, in this video. One with the straight, one with the curly. You know, I lean, I lean more towards the curly side of things. But I love the, the straight look. It almost looks like my clip-in extensions that I have in right now. You don't have to worry about your Brazilian having to wash it every five or so days. So yeah, so it's a great protective style, but there have been a lot of misconceptions surrounding crochet braids, mm -hmm. and we are going to address all of that in this video. First off, let's talk about shedding. Let's be real. This is $5 hair, $6 hair, $7 hair. Your hair is going to shed. This is not, mm -hmm. you're not investing like $100 on your bundles or $200 mm -hmm. on your bundles. That's going to last you like six months. This is $5 synthetic hair. So it's not going to act like virgin hair. You're not going to be able to, you know, run your fingers through it and wash it. So essentially you're, you have plastic on your head. Exactly. This is synthetic. This isn't real hair. This exactly. is crafted in a factory. Like it's not, it's not going to be the same. So one, you're going to be dealing with a lot of tangling. Right now I just flat iron my hair. So I'm not really dealing with that much tangling, but give it like three days and my tangle again. You have to brush it every night. As, as I'm pulling, of course I'm getting... I wanted to pause it right there because I want to just address the shedding issue. I know they're getting into like mats and all that, but let me sh address shedding first. With me and crochet hair... I think because I don't try a lot of the straight hair, so Faith is wearing the straighter hair 
I don't try a lot of straights. You guys know my feelings about the waves, honey. I don't try a lot of that. I don't have as huge of a shedding issue. But I have. The one time on this channel that I did try straight hair was that I'll trade Dominican straight hair. I wore that hair for nine days. That review was a nine-day video, honey. I, I might have taken that hair out, I think, on a Tuesday. Midweek, honey. Back in the time when we were going into the office. This was pre-coronavirus. So that means I walked into the office one day looking one way, and then I literally couldn't even stand it anymore i came in a whole different woman i typically don't do that if i do a switch up it's a friday you see me friday looking another way you see me monday so i had a weekend to transition i literally came in from a tuesday to a wednesday looking different so i will say with the straighter textures hair yes shedding is gonna be a thing that happens it's cheap as she said it is made in a factory i think people need to get out their mind that this is any way comparison to a brazilian hair cambodian hair indian remy hair this is not human hair this is 5.99 a pack i get questions in so many of my review videos is it synthetic and i never i hardly ever say in my review videos this is synthetic hair because i thought it was obvious i thought this hair is so cheap this hair is 4.99 a pack y'all have to know but some people might not and i want to give people the benefit of the doubt hey they might not know but i never verbally say hey i'm going to be reviewing the kima ocean wave synthetic crochet hair i never have said the word synthetic because i thought it was obvious but yes it is synthetic it is made in a factory trying to mimic the qualities of human hair to the best of its abilities but still being at a price point that is in no way comparable to human hair so shedding is a warning about crochet hair but a warning that i want to say it's probably more so geared to as you get to the looser spectrum of things as you get to the straighter spectrum of things if you try a lot of the curlier hairs maybe a free trust beach curl comes to mind um, a free trust water wave bohemian braid those hairs didn't shed for me honestly they did not and i think it's the curlier textured hairs that do not experience that but let's hop right back in she was talking about tangling yes tangling is a thing tangling is definitely a thing especially with the straighter texture hairs again that's the reason me and that dominican blowout straight hair did not get along it was too tangly and i don't have the patience i go into these things knowing it's synthetic hair and knowing it's going to come with what it's going to come with but i've tried great synthetic hairs and did not have those same experiences so crochet braids is not just a wake up in the morning and go hair style it's not no wash and go or you know it's not it's just you have to really like in the morning you might have to trim it every day it's not something it's not like we like you really really you're gonna get like scraggly ends since it's synthetic hair that you have to trim off in the morning you're gonna have to like moisturize it put some cream in it to tame down the frizz and you're gonna have to do quite a bit of work you know every morning to get it to look the way you want it to look it depends on what kind of hair you get now i will say um with like straight canicolon hair, it's way more easier to manage than curly canicolon hair. Yes. If your hair is tangled, you can just brush through it. If you brush through your curls, you might risk your curls dropping or you might risk getting it frizzy. So that's why I prefer this kind of hair as to the curly hair because it's a way more maintenance and I'm not really the type of person that's into maintenance okay so and it's so funny because watching this i am the opposite of faith in this i do not like straighter texture hairs and i find that those are higher maintenance like the ocean wave and the straighter hairs for me are higher maintenance than the curlier hairs it's so funny that that it's like the opposite I, and again i say that crochet hair is not one size fits all but it is so funny when because there are people who commented on my kima ocean wave video which I don't know I ain't like it they love it they held no beef with me because I I did not love that hair but they were like personally love it so it is so funny how subjective it is but back to maintenance I she made a comment I think Sandy made the comment that it is not a wake up in the morning and go type of a style if you choose the right hair it is though and that's the thing I will say if you choose the right hair it can be now not all hair are and a lot of people go into situations blind my mom for the life of me when I first started my channel she didn't get the concept that people might watch me before going into a beauty supply store she was like why aren't people risky take a chance buy a hair and I was like yes that's what people have been doing forever since before channels were even a thing on youtube you would go in and you would see something and you would try it out if it failed it failed if it worked it was a success but you know whatever the case may be you spent 25 30 dollars and you just flipped the coin and saw how it happened there are people 
who watch me, thank you so much for the support. If you're not watching me, click that subscribe button. Who do want to go into a situation kind of having a knowledge. And there are people who go against my reviews who say, yeah, let me try it for myself. And I love that. Try it for yourself. My videos are my opinions on things. But if you do want to have kind of an overall look at how one person tried a hair and wore it for three, four weeks five weeks, six weeks, however long I'm wearing a hair and you want to see it on a human being before making that purchase, then you're somebody who likes to be kind of well informed. And I have a video on this channel. I think I have one on the no maintenance hairs I've tried. So when I say no maintenance, I mean it. I'm not, I do not mean you have to put any creams, any moisturizers, any gels, any oils, nothing. I, I cannot be any clear. I have a whole video dedicated on this channel of breakdown of what I mean by no to low to medium medium to high maintenance hair. I have a whole video breaking that down. What it means to me, again, subjectively, it can mean something different for you, but no to me means no. It means I'm taking out a scarf, I might be gelling down my edges of my own real hair, and then I'm out the door. That is what it means. But I will say, it can be maintenance if you do choose the highest of maintenance hair or the medium of maintenance hair. But that is something that, it is an honest warning about crochet braids. Warning, warning, not all are created equally. So, um, you guys see like these beauty gurus and you see like, okay, oh look at their hair, they just freshly okay. curled it, it looks nice. Alright, but do you know what you're getting yourself really into? Exactly. There's a lot of maintenance behind that you don't see. They have their nighttime routines up, yes, but see them in two weeks. Like, they're going to be tired of the hairstyle most right. of the time. I had to look and see what date this video was made. It was made February 27, 2016. I tried my first ever crochet style June of 2016. And to that point that she just made is the reason why I made my videos the way I did. How she just spoke of how you don't see it two weeks in. You just see nighttime routines or you just see one day or you see the install of a crochet here and then you never see it again. It's like, oh, well, how did that perform? A lot of gurus make those videos where, and this no shade to them that's the way you get to make more content is you wear hair you put it in and you wear it for a week and then you take it out that means you're being able to try 52 crochet hairs in a year if you try one hair a week as opposed to like me where I might wear it for several weeks that's where I saw a hole in the YouTube community that it was missing prior like at this point February 27th of 2016 there was none of that when I entered the space I was like I have to be different I have to be unique and I have to show people that what a hair looks like at five weeks is not what it looks like at one week but if it still looks good enough then it's a good enough hair because I do go into this knowing it's synthetic. So for crochet braids there are various methods of doing it such as having no leave out and using the knotless method in the front or like her having a little bit of leave out in the front and blending it with the connectalon hair. Mm -hmm. So with the knotless method in particular and just with crochet in general you're not going to do crochet and fill every single spot on your head because if you did do that, then your crochet would be really, really full and it would just look like this. Like, you're going to have spaces, especially in the back, like, you're going to have spaces. So don't try to, like, you know, open up your hair and try to, like, do some yeah. style or something. Like, you can't just do that. If your hair, I had versatile crochet in with the same synthetic hair beforehand. Um, I would say it's a lot of maintenance when it comes to leave out because you have your leave out in the middle, you have your leave out around the corner, and so it's a lot. And I'm natural in my like 4C, mm -hmm. and if that humidity hits, it's going to shrivel up. But that's the only time that you have freedom really with crochet braids. You can part your hair in the middle, you can do little pigtails, you can put your hair up in a bun, you can have a half up, half down. But otherwise, don't have expectations that you're going to be able to part your hair in the middle, go out like this, and have nobody check you on the fact that your knots are showing in the back. Right. Um, you have to understand what you're getting yourself into, whether it's knotless, you know, that your part is knotless. Um, mm -hmm. If it's knotless and you're able to flip, you can do that. But if it's just knotless in one part, don't try to really flip it to some other part or else right. it don't really work out. Okay, so to the point, the methods in concealing is what they're talking about right now. So the methods of installing, I never had versatile. I've never had a professional install my hair. I will not have one until next month. Excited about that for my birthday. I'm going to have a professional. And I'm trying to think of what I'm going to do with my hair when I do it myself. Now going forward with experiencing the breakage. I think I made that video a while ago and people might have thought, she's never trying crochet braids again. 
and I'm gonna unsubscribe. Not that I got any unsubscribes from it, but people might have gotten the the idea that I'm never trying it again. No, but I'm gonna be smarter about it definitely going forward. And I I think I'm going to start leaving out some in the front. And to her point, my hair is natural. My hair wants to be natural. My hair is not used to being flat ironed. It's not heat trained at all. If you watch one of my latest vlogs, you realize that along with me, my hair is not heat trained. So during the hotter months, my hair is going to want to revert, revert, revert. So that's why I don't know if I could particularly do a leave out with a straight style like she does. But I do do a pretty good job with my wash and goes and my twist outs. So if I get a hair that could mirror my twist outs or my wash and goes, I think I shouldn't have that huge of a problem because my hair is already in the reverted style. It's in its solid form. It's in the form that it wants to be in. It wants to be curly. It is curly. So therefore, I'm going to be able to do better with my leave outs. But to her point, there are stylists who do vixens and do versatile type installs where you can pull it up. It just depends. So I'm not going to say that, no, you can never pull your hair up or you can never you know do anything any kind of styles you could a hundred percent it's just going to absolutely depend on who you go to what their abilities are and all of that so i'm not going to say for no 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 for a lot of my styles no i can't but that's the way i install so let's say you just came back from the pool you know you decided to go swim in your crochet braids for some strange reason and you want to wash your hair. Should you wash your hair? No, 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 no. Okay, so whew, controversial here. As a girl who has several, I mean several, I mean several videos on this channel about washing crochet braids. I definitely don't agree with the no. I think, again, going back to the original point, some hair is high maintenance on land. It's going to be even more high maintenance under the sea. So with a high maintenance hair, absolutely not. Just give it on up. Take the hair out. If you feel like you want to wash it, just go ahead and take it out. But there are some hair you can wash. Again, I'm about the protection of both my own hair, so my hair right here, and the protection of its growth and its longevity i can't go five weeks without washing my own hair like come on now it's just gonna get dirty like i do need to wash it i don't think every hair can be washed though that's to a point i do not think this straight hair this straight hair faith got in don't wash a girl but there are hair i honestly do believe that you could wash and can have but I, i'll listen to their reasoning i just want to stop it right there because Again, there are things I agree with and things I don't agree with. I hadn't even gotten, we're, we're past the point where I hadn't seen before. So we're, I'm seeing all new things. So I'm intrigued to see what their reasoning for that is. Washing crochet braids is an absolute no. You're washing synthetic hair. That's just, it's a recipe for disaster. I don't know. I guess some people claim that they do wash their crochet braids. Claim that yeah. they do wash their crochet braids. I Again, I wouldn't risk it. I wouldn't, I, I, I would just, we wouldn't do it like. No, yeah, yeah. You can, you can, oh child, that's, that is pure nonsense. And that is pure nonsense. I feel like attacked right now. It's okay. It's okay. I'm, you know, I love opinions. I love it. I love that. I, I knew I was going to like this video. I knew it was made specifically for me. That is pure nonsense. Okay, I'm not taking it personally. I get it. And again, when I say I'm washing my crochet braids, it's really just water hitting the crochet braids. I'm really washing my hair. I need to wash my hair. Five weeks, I cannot go without washing my own hair. That, you know, is just a recipe for disaster. I respect it. I respect this. One thing, when you're working with free tress hair or any type of like silky textured mm -hmm. hair, um, when you're crocheting it on, like it's going to be more of a struggle to work with than... um then kinkier yeah, textured yeah, hair yeah. you have to like loop it six times and even still the loop the loop might you know act up a little bit mm -hmm. so you have to you know try to pick it in small pieces and also with those kind of hairs like sometimes the depending on what kind of hair you get the hair does not really come like separated they come in like big chunks and sometimes to separate those big chunks it gets tangled yeah. like it will get tangled on the spot like a hundred percent agree with for for me i don't have a lot of slippage with a lot of my hairs thankfully i must be choosing something right but i've gotten comments sometimes from people how do you deal with slippage and i can honestly say it's not something i heavily deal with however i can say um with the hair 
she's talking about the hair that I, I've talked about this in a video probably more recently where I kind of talk about bulk hair which is that hair that it does not come separated for you I think five years ago when this video was made a lot more of the hair was made that way but I can honestly say now in 2021 I think brands have caught on that we hate that and there's a lot more of the hair that is already pre-separated for you and you can kind of just go from there it's not as much of the bulk hair where you have to be in charge of is this enough is this enough is this enough there there are still hair like that out in the market but honestly if you watch my probably last few installs for the last two years I have not tried a hair probably outside of that trendy tresses hair in a long time where I had to be in control I think that things have really changed in the last five years from these manufacturers in terms of creating less bulk I call that bulk hair oh so now for the big question how long do crochet braids last it honestly depends on your style, it depends on how you manage your own hair, how you take care of your hair, um, the type of hair you use. Based on my actual past experience, um, I had another crochet style before I had this one in, same hair, um, just a versatile. It lasted me about a month before I started to get irritated, and I got irritated because it started to get too tangled to the point where if I, if I brushed it, maybe three hours later, it would start to get tangled again. For her curly hair, uh, how, how much did it last? Well, I mean, I still have it in right now. Mm -hmm. um, in the past, I've had um, Free Trust Brazilian Braid. I kept that in for a month, surprisingly, and I, I was getting irritated by week two, week three. I was getting irritated because I just had to keep trimming it and trimming it and trimming it. By week four, it was this. This Girl, this thing said, as a matter of fact, by day four or five, okay, I'm gonna, I stopped it right there just because I was like, let me just respond to the how long does it last. I know they keep harping on the month. It, it's definitely going to, again, all depend on the hair. I don't know if Faith is primarily strictly a straight hair, and I don't know if Sandy is particularly always a curly hair. And it might, they might not even do crochet braids, honestly, at this point. It's been five years. I don't know what the focus of Sandy's channel might be now, but I will say it's gonna 100% depend. That Ocean Wave, I wanted to take it out after my LA trip. While I was in LA, I wanted to take that hair out. That was six days at that point. I ended up wearing it three weeks. I think sometimes, even when we hate a hair, we do end up wearing it a lot longer just because life. Like, I, I can't just take it out. I might have something to do that next weekend. Like, taking out a hair and then coming up with another style is a thought in itself. So, I think sometimes we wear crochet hair past the point of it being so i might wear hair like that again i believe ocean wave i wore for three weeks i wanted it out at one week but life had me wearing it for three um and then there are hair like kima soft dread hair where i could have wore that hair for nine ten weeks that hair was not going to do anything bad so for me it a hundred percent depends on the hair i choose not all hair are created equally i know they're all factory made all synthetic all these things are true, but I honestly can say there are definitely differences in each of them that make it. I wouldn't have a review channel where I've tried this all the time if everything was so, so, so similar. This is like an easy protective style to get mm -hmm. a great in-between style that really, really grows my hair the mm -hmm. most compared to other hairstyles. And it's very, very cost-effective. Now, yeah, all we're saying is... Don't be, be fooled. Yeah, do not be fooled. Like, don't see people, you know, talking about some two months later, you know. You know, so right now, you'll yeah. probably see the camera like, it's not that bad, but come close, Come you know. closer. You come closer. See, you know, secrets. Secrets. Yeah. Like, when you change this, you will see the secrets. Exactly. Don't be fooled. Like, don't be, don't be, don't see these people talking about some five months later, <laughs> seven, eight, one year later. I don't know. One year later, my crochet boy is still looking for Right. Me. Like, they are funny these two are hilarious but no i don't know why people will be flexing on their styles lasting so long like what what do they get out of pretending and getting you on board like that's what i've always wondered is why would somebody line be like this hair is lasting for a month ha 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 and then you go out and buy it and then it's not lasting for you what did that person get other than you being fooled but i guess there might be people who do be like yes you guys know i get up in camera i show you i will be pulling a hair telling you honey no it's it's a no go like three to six weeks is probably your ideal um range that people keep the crochet yeah, three to six in. weeks so don't like don't expect anything more more than six weeks yeah and don't i mean you could expect less, you, you, yeah, yeah, you, you want to, less, less. <laughs> you want to. <laughs> but yeah so yeah Three to six weeks, depending mm. on the hair, depending on how you take care of it, yeah. you 
take the wheel for crochet brands. Yeah, you take yeah. your own wheel, you know, just be aware of the precautions be aware of the maintenance okay so we are at the end of their video i think they did an amazing job of breaking it down 100 percent agree they said three to six weeks i probably wouldn't i've never gone over seven and i will never go over seven with my my channel that's just who i am as a person even if the hair is still looking good at seven i just think my hair needs to breathe and just needs to release itself from the being braided down i thought this was a great video i love the energy of sandy and faith in this video but i thought this video when i clicked on it i thought i was going to talk about i was like oh are other people experiencing breakage there weren't, weren't a lot of videos talking about breakage and what i was going through but this video i think was very entertaining and i loved it so if you guys enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't enjoy it still give it a big thumbs up we want all the love and support over here on this channel make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you don't miss anything that i do again i have some fun and creative and innovative things coming my way with crochet again it's been five years we're time for an evolution over here and then make sure you're also following me on instagram at leo lamont 89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye